So, Badu, I've just released two new AI models that are completely free, straight from China. And we have Ernie 4.5 and X1. These are the two models. Now, the deep thinking reasoning model with multi modal capabilities, Ernie X1, so this is like DeepSeek R1's alternative, is supposed to deliver the same performance with DeepSeek, but it's only half the price. So, number one, you can get free access to this. And number two, if you're using the API, and I'll show you the benchmarks in a minute, then this is actually cheaper than DeepSeek R1 by 50%. And then there's also Ernie 4.5, which is like DeepSeek version three alternative, right? So that's a faster model. So just to recap there, X1 is the deep reasoning model and Ernie 4.5 is like the faster model. Now you can get access to both of these at ian.baidu. Dot com. You can see this all in Chinese, but actually if we switch over to English over here, then you can actually get access to the English stuff. This is not that accessible. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Number one, you have to translate the website to English. And then number two, it's also an issue because you have to sign up as an outsider. So if you actually go on Badu's website, you have to log in. And then I signed up, I think it was as an outsider on the translation. And then from there, I could log in. And then in the top left here on ian.baidu.com, then you can select between these different models. So it's got 3.5 and it's got 4.0 turbo, but the latest models are actually X1 and 4.5, right? So Ernie 4.5 is the faster version and X1 is the deep reasoning model. So we'll be showing you exactly how they work in a second. Some interesting responses here, like a lot of people are actually Talking about, for example, this tweet by Nick, it says, Baidu released a reasoner model at par with DeepSeek that outperforms ChatGPT 4.5, and it's 1% of the price, which is absolutely wild, right? 1% of the price. So let's have a look at some of the benchmarks here, see what we got. And if anyone's wondering, yes, it is completely free to access the chat model. So you just go to Baidu, Ian, that's spelled Y I. Y A N dot Baidu, B A I D U dot com. And then you can see the examples and the comparisons right here. So it's actually compared to GPT 4.5, DeepSeek version 3, GPT 4.0, and Ernie 4.5. So Ernie 4.5, just to recap, there is the faster model, right? So that's the more comparable model. So if we have a look at these and we compare the benchmarks here, you can see that according to the benchmarks, Ernie 4.5, is actually outperforming GPT 4.5. Now bear in mind, this is 1% of the price versus GPT 4.5, which is absolutely wild. And then you've got DeepSeek version three chat. That's nowhere near as well, really. If you look at all of these benchmarks on this side, early 4.5 is winning for MMLU. GPQA 4.5, GPT 4.5 is winning. C eval, Ernie is winning and a lot of others as well, right? So it looks pretty cool. We're going to test it out in a second. And again, Ernie is 1% of the price of GPT 4.5. And the reason the model X1 is 50% of the price of DeepSeek R1. So there's quite a big difference there in terms of the reason models, how they perform, etc. And obviously, this is another model that's just come out from China. So like all the stuff from China is coming out. It's, it's really cheap. They also plan to open source this. So it's planned to come out. These are the input costs, by the way. The, it's planned to be open sourced by June the 30th, I believe as well, which will be interesting too. So it should get released on Olama, hopefully, and that sort of thing. You can also analyze audio. So you can upload audio with a clip and then ask it questions. You can analyze the summarized documents. Really good tweet by Min Choi, by the way. Solve problems, style decor, etc. Right, pretty interesting stuff. So we've been through the benchmarks. I've shown you how to get access. You can see here, so Baidu have said, we're rolling out the Ernie 4.5 model series in the coming months and plan to open source the models from June 30th. And it is outperforming Deep Sea version 3 on a lot of the benchmarks as well. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what are the key points about this? So it's multimodal and this is Ernie 4.5, right? So there's a few of its benchmarks, how it works, etc., what it can do. It's a lot cheaper. And let's test it out. All right, so again, if you want to translate the website, then just click on the translate button at the top. 
and you can go from Chinese simplified to English. And then we'll try out X1 at first, which is the reasoning model, right? And we'll give it a few tests. So these are some of the tests I usually do with Grok and that sort of stuff. We're going to say now, okay, create a self playing snake game using HTML with simple GUI. You can also link this to online search. Obviously Baidu is like one of the biggest search engines in China. So you can also select online search if you want, but we'll go with just normal for now. And we'll run that. And that has totally failed. <laughs> Good start. It failed on the first attempt. So I just had to click regenerate and then it's come back to us. What's interesting about this is I don't know whether it's because it's in English, but look at that. So it's like, I need to create first, next, faller, mistake. That did not work at all. So total fail so far. Let's switch back to X1. Okay. It seems to be working now. So just bear in mind, like it seems to be very temperamental, a bit on and off. We can also try the same prompt with 4.5, but I wouldn't hope the outputs are going to be any better. So let's try that. The thing to note here is like, even though the website and the model is Chinese, you can get English outputs from it, right? You can probably get other language outputs from it as well. So let's see what we get back in a second. So it seems to be working out, figuring out, failed the first time around, but now it's working. And you've got like a very similar thinking mode to deep seek. When you use deep seek, you get very similar sort of results and outputs back from it. Think as well, because it's just been released, the servers quite often, like they're behind or they take a long time, etc. but a 4.5 is actually coming back to us. It seems to have HTML canvas as well, which is pretty cool. So it's a little bit like chat GPT or deep seek. I wouldn't say the UI is as nice as chat GPT or deep seek, but it's still doing the job. The thinking mode is coming back to us now. And we seem to be getting the HTML. It is pretty slow on the outputs. Like for example, if we compare this versus chat GPT and we ask it to do the same prompt. So create a self play a snake game. The difference in speed is outrageous. Now that might be because this is a relatively new AI that's just been released 24 hours ago, but still chat GPT seems to be a lot faster when it's replying, right? So this is Baidu and Ernie 4.5 along with Ernie X1. Whereas this is ChatGPT, it's already pretty much finished. So we've got the HTML back from 4.5, from Ernie 4.5. So let's test this out. We'll grab that. And then we're going to go over to Live Weave. I don't think there's a preview option inside here as far as I can see, but that means like copy and paste, I think, basically. So let's grab that, plug it in here. And we have the self playing snake game. And this is with 4.5, which is the less powerful model. But that's working pretty well. Look at that. I'm actually surprised how well that works. That's perfect. All right, let's try ChatGPT's text that we got back. So go over to ChatGPT. We've got the HTML. And we can preview this inside ChatGPT. That's working pretty nicely as well. But I would say this one is a lot smoother, actually. So we refresh the page. This is a lot smoother than the ChatGPT one, a lot faster. Whereas this one is a little bit laggy. The UI is not quite as nice so far. Not bad at all. It's quite impressive. So that was from Ernie 4.5. Let's get the outputs back from Ernie X1, which is the reasoning model. Now, if we have a look here, has it done it in HTML? Can't see any HTML there. Oh, there we go. So we got the HTML that's coming back to us there. So it takes quite a few minutes to generate a response. It's not the fastest from what I've seen so far. Seems to take quite a while. Ernie 4.5 is a lot faster, but ChatGPT, I mean, it's, it's just way, way faster when it comes to getting the outputs. Let's also compare the same thing on DeepSeek. So we'll go over to DeepSeek.com. Start now. I'm guessing, yeah, the servers must be overloaded inside Badu as well, because this has just been released. But still, that's taking really a long time. Right, that is a long time. So we're using deep seek version three for the output here. And we'll see how that compares versus chat GPT and versus the result from Ernie. Let's pull this up. All right. So we're going to plug in the HTML from X1 here, and then we'll grab the CSS as well and the JS. Whoa, look, <laughs> look how fast that is. 
That's insane. That is genuinely insane. I don't know if... I've never seen a self-playing snake game run that quickly. It's like on lightning speed. Look at that. Hitting new scores like a savage. Just for uniqueness, that, that is pretty interesting. I wonder why it's done that. So creating a self-playing snake game in HTML involves using JavaScript to control the game logic, simulate the snake's movement automatically. And then it's given us an explanation. I wonder why it's moving so fast, so that is crazy. All right, maybe they play the snake faster over in, uh, over in China. To be fair, like the outputs are pretty good. It's definitely a lot smoother than the outputs from ChatGPT. It does take a lot of time for the responses, but not bad at all. Let's just check what DeepSeek came up with. Let's grab the email from DeepSeek. Plug this in. Grab the CSS. Grab the JavaScript. And see what we got back. Wow. Yeah, so that's the output from DeepSeek. It's not even really working. That doesn't make any sense at all. So to be fair, so far, Ernie X1 and Ernie X4.5 both came back to us with working outputs. DeepSeek's HTML self playing snake game doesn't seem to work at all, right? Like, it's just a dot bouncing around the screen. ChatGPT's was not bad, but it was a little bit laggy. But honestly, if you had to rank them in terms of performance, you're going to go with... I would personally say X1, just for the speed of that self-playing snake game, then 4.5, then ChatGPT 4.0, and then DeepSeek version 3 coming in last. So it's quite interesting to see that actually Ernie's outperformed all of them so far, and this is completely free. You just have to sign up with a phone number to Baidu, but it is free to access. The only thing, I'll come on to some other stuff in a minute that I think is a bit of a problem, but yeah. The only thing I would say is it's just not that easy to access for most people, right? So I think the reason a lot of people love DeepSeek was like you could get an app on the App Store. It was all in English. It was very accessible. It was quite easy even to get the APIs for DeepSeek. Whereas this website is just not quite as easy to access for the average Jack, for the average Jack Johnson, to be honest with you. Yeah, that is our overview. Thanks so much for watching. So if you want to get access to a community, of 464 members who are all focused on making more money and saving time with AI. Feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This comes with all of my best AI agents, techniques, workflows, automations for email content creation, social media, AI agents, AI trends and updates, SEO automation, and a crash course on how to make more money and save time with AI to automate your business. You can also post in the community. So if you have any questions, feel free to post in the community. We're constantly updating this as well and adding more information inside there. And additionally, if you want to get access to weekly Q&As with us, feel free to get that in, inside the calendar, right? So you can just jump on these calls, ask any questions that you have. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month. Generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and lots while it's free. Link building in acceleration session, you get a free SEO domination plan. Discover the secrets of SEO link building, or ask any questions you have, and you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO. Like you see right here, link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom and to the free SEO strategy session. Bear in mind, prices for this are actually going up at the end of the month, so make sure you sign up now before you miss out.